If you enjoy this video, make sure to click the subscribe button and also the notification bell so you never miss out on another absolutely fantastic review. Enjoy! Hello everyone, it's Diego Doom here finally bringing you another review. Today I'll be reviewing Metal Build Evangelion AVA 1 Test Type. This stylized take on AVA Unit 1 is inspired by the 1995 series Neon Genesis Evangelion. Fifteen years after the incident known as the Second Impact, a young man named Shinji is summoned to Tokyo 3 by his estranged father, Gendo, who is also the commander of Nerve. Upon his arrival, Shinji witnesses an attack by an angel, a creature which seems impervious. Soon after, Shinji joins Nerve and becomes the pilot of Nerve's ultimate weapon against the Angels, Ava Unit 1. Now, Shinji must learn to control Ava 1 and defend the Earth from the threat of the Angels. Metal Build Evangelion Ava 1 Test Type is another fantastic release in the Metal Build line. Ava 1 has a fantastic sculpt, paint apps, accessories, and range of articulation. Let's jump right into it and take a closer look at AVA 1. Before we start, we have some very minor assembly to complete. We need to attach AVA 1's large shoulder pylons. The metal tip goes into the top of the back and the flat end of the pylon slots in the middle of the upper back. It sounds simple enough, but it can be a little tricky. You have to use a little bit of force to slot the flat end into the back. When I attached these, I was very worried I was going to snap them. Once you have them in place, you will know if they are on correctly by how firm the connection is. AVA 1 has a fantastic range of articulation. First, let's start with the head. We can look up, down, left, right, the neck itself is on a ball joint. The mouth can open up this much initially. If we tilt the head all the way up, this will allow us to completely open up the mouth. The shoulders have a great range of movement. They can move forward, backwards, inwards, and out, which is definitely very cool. The shoulder pads are on two different ball joints. So for our top black panel, we can actually flip this down, and then for the shoulder pad that actually covers the shoulder itself, we can flip this up, which is very nice. The arms can rotate a full 360 degrees. You will definitely have to move the shoulder pads out of the way. Now, occasionally the shoulder pad may pop off, but it's not a big deal. It can just pop right back into place. The arms can come up a little bit higher than 90 degrees. We have a bicep swivel. We have very nice double jointed elbows, the fists are on ball joints so we can tilt and spin them freely. In the upper torso, we can lean forward, backward, twist side to side and lean side to side. Now something to be aware of, when twisting this figure from side to side, there is a chance you could rub off the paint so do be careful. The legs can get forward this much, backward this much, come up to the sides this much. We have a slight thigh swivel, we have very nice double jointed knees, the knee guards are articulated slightly, the ankle guards are on ball joints, we can tilt and spin these freely, the feet can tilt and swivel, the back of the heel has a bit of articulation, and then finally the toes are articulated. When it comes to die cast content, I don't really feel any on the outside, but you can definitely feel it on the inside of AVA 1 as you move the figure around. AVA 1 has a very solid and sturdy feel. Since this is a metal build figure, it makes sense for the die cast to be internal. 
When it comes to sculpt and paint apps, AVA 1 is absolutely fantastic. Starting from the top, we have the head. At the top of the head, we have AVA 1 semi-sharp horn with a matte black paint app in a neon green accent on the backside. Moving down, we have the head itself with a unique armored sculpt with a matte purple paint app. This purple paint app is used throughout the body. The top back portion of the head has a cool honeycomb grid pattern. The eyes have a sharp sculpt with a neon green paint app. Around the eyes, we have a matte black paint app that really makes the neon green eyes stand out. Moving back and down from the eyes, we have thin amber accent lines. On the sides of the head, we have our vents with a large angular sculpt. We have a black accent line on the top of the vent, a neon green paint app on the front, and a metallic amber paint app on the interior of the vent. The mouth has a sharp angular sculpt. The chin has a long matte black accent with a neon green accent at the very end. If we open the mouth, we can see the inner mouth has a simple sculpt with a blood red paint app. As we come down, we can see the neck and traps have a vibrant orange paint app. The chest has a large muscular armored sculpt. The pecs have a cool peeled back look to them. The top of the pecs have a smooth detailed metallic silver robotic sculpt with large amber impressions. The lower portion of the pecs have our nicely detailed purple armor panels. On the left pec we can see the Nerve logo and below the logo we have Evangelion text. The abdomen has an awesome armored sculpt comprised of several overlapping panels. We have a series of purple, bronze, neon green, and matte black panels with green accents. Moving up behind the shoulders, at the top we have our large shoulder pylons with a matte black paint up for the body, neon green tips, and orange ports. On the shoulders themselves, we have another panel with matte black, amber, and neon green paint apps. On the top of the shoulder panel, we have the Nerve logo in Evangelion text. On the actual shoulder panel itself, we have the AVA 1 badge with white, matte black, and orange paint apps. The arms have a slender, muscular, armored sculpt. On the inside of the arms, we can see the metal inner workings with metallic silver and metallic copper paint apps. On the forearms, we have a Project AVA decal with neon green and matte black paint apps. Underneath the forearms, we have an armored fin with a neon green tip. The fists have a great sculpt with a matte black paint app and copper knuckle accents. Spin around to the back, we have our umbilical port with a metallic silver paint app. As we come down the center of the back, we have our detailed metallic silver spinal panels that lead down to the waist. On the top of the waist, we have neon green accents. We can see some cool inner details in the hips. The legs have a slender muscular armored sculpt with various panel lines and light gray accents on the top of the thighs. The knee pads have a large sculpt with matte black and orange accents. Above the knees, on the sides of the calves, and on the back of the legs we can see more of the inner workings. The feet have a cool sneaker-like sculpt with various armor panels with orange, matte black, purple, and neon green paint apps. For accessories, first up we have our four pairs of hands. We have two pairs of holding hands, a pair of open hands, and a pair of gripping hands. Each of the hands have a fantastic sculpt with a matte black paint app and copper accent lines following the knuckle joints. To attach, first lift up the wrist guard, remove the fist, and then attach the desired hand combination to match your favorite dynamic poses. Next, we have Ava 1's huge arsenal of weapons. First up, we have our progressive knife. The blade has a metallic gunmetal paint app with impressions at the base. The guard has a vibrant orange paint app. The handle has a matte gray paint app with a grid pattern etched in. The progressive knife also comes with a very cool mechanical sheath. Next, we have our handgun with a detailed sculpt and a matte gray paint app. We can pull back the slide on the handgun to reveal some cool gunmetal inner workings. We have a small magazine that firmly slides into the handle of the handgun. Next, we have our large detailed pallet rifle with a matte gray body, light gray circular accents, gunmetal inner workings, and an orange accent. We have a magazine that can easily and firmly plug into the front of the rifle. 
The pallet rifle comes with three attachments, a grenade launcher, a bayonet, and what looks like a beam attachment. In the comments below, let me know the proper name of this longer attachment. The grenade launcher has a very nice mechanical detailed sculpt. The bayonet has a long semi-sharp metallic gunmetal blade. The bayonet can be removed from its slot and now Ava-1 has an additional knife that can be held. The beam cannon has a long detailed sculpt with orange energy canisters on the sides and bottom. The front end of the cannon has a metallic silver paint app. Each of the attachments easily slot onto the pallet rifle. Next up we have our pair of swords. We have our Magoroku Exterminate Sword and our Counter Sword. The blade of the Counter Sword has a smooth semi-sharp sculpt with a metallic silver paint app. The handle has a detailed mechanical sculpt with a light gray paint app. The handle has a series of red, orange, and copper accents. Above the handle we have a light gray accent. The Mago Roku Exterminate Sword has a long, thicker blade with a metallic silver paint app. The handle is the same as the counter sword, except this time we have round accents at the top of the handle. Both swords come with a nicely detailed mechanical sheath that they can easily slot into. Each of Ava 1's weapons can be held by both pairs of holding hands. Now for weapons in hand, Ava 1 is ready to battle the angels. Next up we have our set of armor parts and connectors. For our armor parts, we have a pair of shin guards, ankle guards, and a visor. The shin guards have a great sculpt with matte black and gunmetal paint apps. The ankle guards are matte black with orange accents. The visor has a cool sculpt with armor plating covering the eyes. To attach, starting with the visor, gently remove the top of the head and then slot on the visor. To attach the shin and ankle guards, first remove the normal ankle guards, attach the shin guards which will kind of snap into place, and then attach the new ankle guards. For our connector parts, we have two rings, four slot connectors, and four peg connectors. To attach the hip rings, open the panels up on the sides of the thighs. You will have to pull up on the back of the panel and then push it backwards from the front. This will reveal an open slot that we can plug the rings into. Our four slot connectors can be slotted on to each of our weapons. We can then put the slot connectors into the peg connectors. Now with everything set up, we can plug our weapons into the portholes on the hips and pylons any way we want. Now with everything in place, we can see Ava-1 is completely geared up for battle. For our last accessory, we have the stand. The stand has a very cool detailed mechanical sculpt with a greenish blue paint up for the body. We have red and black hazard lines on the top and base of the stand. On the base with some cool black panel lines, red accent lines, and the Ava 1 test type text. The stand comes with an articulated neck, rack panels, umbilical ports, and a flexible rubber umbilical cable. To attach the articulated neck, Remove the panel from the center of the stand and plug in the neck. To plug the weapons racks in, we need to remove the plugs from the bottom of the stand. Now you can do this, but you can also go about it the lazy way by simply plugging the racks into the ports which will force the pegs out of the stand. To set up the umbilical cable, first plug one of the two ports into AVA-1's upper back. One port is for normal use, while the other one is for use with the articulated neck. Next, plug the umbilical port into the back of the stand, lazy style, in the center. Now plug the large part of the umbilical cable into the base port, then plug the small end of the cable into the port in the upper back. If you're going to make use of the stand, Plug the stand into the porthole of the alternate back port. Now, if we want to put Ava-1 on standby mode, we need to remove the articulated neck from the center. Next, we're going to open up the arm ports and then slot Ava-1 into place. The pylons will slot into the top portion of the stand. 
Make sure the arm fins slot into the armrest and then close the arm ports and that's it. With Ava 1 on standby, we might as well plug our weapons into the racks. Now with everything in place, we have an awesome way to display Ava 1 and also a means to support dynamic poses. Now that we have the accessories out of the way, let's do some size comparisons. As a whole, AVA 1 turned out to be absolutely fantastic. The sculpt is fantastic, the paint apps are clean and crisp, we have a ton of awesome accessories, AVA 1 has a very nice solid and sturdy feel, and the articulation is fantastic. This is my very first Evangelion figure and I think I definitely picked the right one to start with. This figure is stunning and I absolutely recommend picking up AVA 1. Now how much does AVA 1 cost? Unfortunately, I narrowly missed the pre-order window for AVA 1, but I did get lucky enough to pick up AVA 1 on release day at a slightly higher price. AVA 1's initial retail price was $212. I managed to pick up my AVA 1 figure for $230. I am perfectly fine with that price since this figure is worth every penny. This has been another review by Diego Doom. Thank you very much for watching and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. To see more metal build figure reviews or another absolutely fantastic review, click the links on screen right now. Be sure to follow me on social media and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe.